We begin tonight with much of the East Coast now bracing for Tropical Storm Elsa. Those warnings from the Carolinas up through New England at this hour. Elsa regaining strength as it marches up the coast with winds up to 50 miles per hour. Heavy rain, flash flooding and very strong winds are now expected from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia, New York City to Boston beginning tomorrow morning. It could be a dangerous commute along parts of the I-95 corridor. They are warning tornadoes are also possible. The system slamming the Carolinas today, wind and rain blasting Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Roughly 20 homes in an animal hospital damaged in Port Royal. Trees downed on rooftops. You can see their branches littering the streets everywhere. And new images tonight of an EF-1 tornado touching down in Jacksonville, Florida. Winds damaging businesses there. And authorities have now confirmed it was an EF-2 tornado flipping trailers at a naval submarine base in Kings Bay, Georgia. At least nine people hurt. And the other storms hitting late today, even before Elsa. The images here in New York City tonight. Major flooding on the Major Deegan Expressway. Police using what they call barrier trucks to rescue stranded drivers even before Elsa. Now, this tropical storm expected to hit New York City tomorrow morning. 50 million people all along the coast at risk of flash flooding. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z, leading us off again tonight with the latest track. Good evening, Ginger. Good evening to you, David. I do think flash flooding will be the main threat for everyone going through tonight. However, Elsa has caused a tornado in every state that it has touched. So we need to start with the imminent threat of tornado watches that extend through Virginia into the Delmarva Peninsula. So Maryland and Delaware, you're next. Now I want to take you through the timing because you've got to see how this plays out. Tonight it will move into the Jersey Shore, the overnight hours, Belmar, Long Beach, Long Branch, excuse me, Seabright. Look at the Rockaways through Long Island. That's 5 a.m. 5 to 8 a.m. New York City. Watch out. All of this rain we just got, two to four inches, is going to cause even more flooding as Elsa comes through. And then from Providence to Boston, so Rhode Island, Connecticut, you're getting it kind of mid-morning through the afternoon. That lunchtime commute going to be a problem. Maine will say goodbye to it after 7 p.m., but not before it leaves, David. Four to six inches in some of the heaviest pockets. On top of what we already had, we're going to have issues with water. Yes, everyone has to be very careful tomorrow morning on that commute, Ginger. Thank you. As Ginger points out, Elsa now moving right up the coast. The I-95 corridor especially uh, troublesome. The system already deadly several reported tornadoes and ABC's Gio Benitez tonight on the damage already. There's a tornado right there. After battering Florida, tonight Elsa is churning its way up the I-95 corridor. Today, the system gaining strength over the Carolinas. Outside Charleston, first responders racing to clear trees from the only road into a disto island. And overnight in Camden County, Georgia. It is utter chaos. Elsa spawning an EF-2 tornado, flipping trailers at the East Coast hub for the Navy's fleet of nuclear submarines. Debris everywhere. I come out and there's guys pushing his kids out the top door over here. Nine people, including a pregnant woman, were hurt. And the tornado that touched down in Jacksonville caught on surveillance camera. 110 mile per hour winds destroying everything. This power line right here came down and hit right on this fence and ba -boom. One person in Jacksonville killed by a falling tree. And as the Northeast prepares for Elsa, for the third day in a row, powerful severe thunderstorms slammed the region, rainwater pouring into this subway station in New York City. And David, here in New York City, we're already under a flash flood warning because of those storms. But here's the other problem. Elsa moves in during the morning commute. And as Ginger just said, the ground is so saturated here. Flooding is a very real concern, David. All right, Gio Benita is with us as well. Gio, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.